Hi guys, this is Bricklink here. In this preview, we're really excited to show you guys a new warrant list, and we thought a short video walkthrough would be a great way to introduce some of the new features we have. Um, please note that everything on this preview site is undergoing development, and that what you see in this video today could be slightly different from your own experience. But let's go ahead and jump right in. So here, this is the new interface for Bricklink. I'm going to go ahead and log in. After that, I can navigate to my new one list pages. So here we have a big, nice, quick one list. Um, so all my previous one lists have been carried over, and I have all my projects. But for today's demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and create a new list. Um, so one project I've been working on is recreating one of my old favorite sets. So if you guys know the War Queen, I'm going to be recreating that today. After I create my one list, it redirects me to that page. And right here, I want to show you guys all the new ways that you can add items to your one list. So here, we have a new interface to add parts directly in your, within your own list. So here, I'm going to go in. I want to add, let's say, a headlight brick. I'm going to go in, click it, and I want these guys in black for around 10 pieces. I'm going to add it to my list and that's really great for when you know exactly what you want to add to your list but let's say you are browsing your catalog and you see an item that you want to add you can click this and now you have this new interface where you can select the one list you want to add it to you could set all your parameters so here I'm going to put 20 of these guys and I'm going to add it and now once I go back to my original list and refresh the page you can see that now I have all the items I just added but besides those ways, um, we updated our upload page. So here, we now included a way for you to directly add files. So we, you know that some popular files like Brickstock, LDRON, LDD, now you can directly upload the file without having to know an XML format. We also updated our part out page. So we have a better interface where it's a little bit less text heavy and a lot more visual. So here, I want to recreate my warp wing, so I'm going to go choose that set. And now, without knowing the actual set ID, I can actually choose it. So here, let me go down to space. And all right, I go to space. I know which set I want, so I'm going to type it in. So which is the warp wing fighter, and I'm going to choose this item. So here it's showing me that there's 93 parts available with two minifigures. I'm not so interested in the minifigures, so I'm going to deselect these guys. Um, I'm going to add it to the list that I already made, which is the warp wing. I do not care what condition it is. I want it to be the quantity of the set, so I'm going to submit for edit. Here I can verify all the items to my, uh, that I'm adding, and everything looks good to me, so I'm going to go ahead and submit it. So now it tells me that the part out looks uh, successful and I can go view my new uh, one list. So here, this is my original one list, the warp wing, and I can see that everything that I parted out is now included. Um, with our new edit page, we could also do things like edit multiple items at once. So here, let's say I want to select all these items and apply a condition. So now I can set it to new used or any but for today I'm going to set it to use because I know it's an old set so maybe some of the parts won't be as readily available so now if I could click apply you can see that every item on my list has a new condition of used um, besides that I know that these two stickers might be a little bit harder to get so I'm going to go ahead and delete these guys from my list I'll take these out but next I want to show you guys one of my favorite parts of this new one list. So now that I'm ready and I edited my one list, I want to go ahead and buy this guy. So if I click buy, it will take me to our new buy page. So here on our new buy page, we see that we want to buy my warp wing. It's already selected, uh, but just like the old one list buy shop, I can select multiple one lists. So if I want to buy both my warp wing and my default one list, I can enable that too. So you notice here on the right side, that both one lists are active. And, but for today's demonstration, I only want to buy my warp wing, so let's deselect that. And with the right hand side, you can see that I can also enable or uh, 
disable some lots. So let's say I have this corner lot, I can disable it. I don't need to buy it, so I'm going to take out these three guys because let's say I already have it in my personal collection. So now I only want 90 of my original 93 items, and I'm going to try to find storage for them. On the next step, you see that I have a preview of all my wanted items, and now it's going to produce for me a list of stores that can complete the list of wanted items. Just like our old buy shop page, it will be listed with the uh, stores that could complete most of your wanted items at once. Um, so here, everything is being sorted by unique lots. But um, let's say I'm only interested in USA stores. So we have introduced better store filters. So here, I'm going to go ahead and put it in only USA stores. And I'm gonna click Apply. And now I'm going to start to see only stores in the USA that can complete this one item, uh, this one list. So here, I could cycle through the different one uh, stores. And here on the left side, I can get a preview of the items I am hoping to get. So the items in green are is everything the store can complete. The items in orange are partially complete. And anything that's not selected, that means the store does not have. So it looks like Lucky Ed's Good Old Bricks has a good selection of items. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. Here I can um, edit this list of items. So I could say I want 10 of this item. I could go down to this list, make sure everything looks good. And once I'm ready, I click and confirm my selection. So you notice that once I confirm a selection, this buying interface recognizes that I've already tried to accomplish that one item. So here, I only have three items remaining. And so this store selector will always refresh to try to match your one items. So here, I can now go in and select this guy and confirm it. And now you notice that every lot is assigned. I could buy in these two stores for a total of $139. But let's say I don't want to manually find my list of items. We have given you guys a new feature called Auto Finder. So here, if I click this, um, I have two options. I could either look for the cheapest options or I could try to find the fewest stores possible. But today, I'm going to be going for cheapest and I'll let it run. So this can take anywhere from 30 seconds to a couple minutes, but as it runs, it will return you a nice list of stores that will complete your one list for the cheapest price possible. Once the AutoFinder is finished, I come back and find that uh, we have four stores that can complete my whole wanted list. And looking at everything, I like all the prices that it's giving me. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and now add all these to my cart. So now all those carts have been made in these individual store and what I have to do is now just go to uh, all the stores that I just created go check out and from here I can review my cart I can continue shopping if I want to take a look around and then I check out and that's it so not every feature was covered today so I encourage you guys to explore the wanna list for yourself uh, we look forward to getting your feedback and I hope you guys have fun with the new wanna list